Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila. Our life coach is uh, is a Gallup certified strength coach. Ayan. Isa uh-huh. is a master's certified in transformative coaching. Ayan, naku ah, Jonah, alam mo ba yun? Uh, mga yeah. Rainbow, please welcome a dear friend of society, Rainbow Society and a LGBT ally. Naku, ayan talaga, super ally ito, JV. Walang kadudadu. Yes. Correct. So, please welcome Coach Isa Mundeniendo Armovit. Pasok sa mga! Halika Hello, na. everyone! Hi, Hi. Hi Tita Luisa! Hi, JV! Oh, Hi, Nathan D! Hi, Hi Jonalicious! And Hello, Hi, Paul. all the Rainbow Society globally! <laughs> My goodness! You've come Welcome a long way here! <laughs> finally, finally, Isa, nandito ka na sa Rainbow Society. Ako, ang tagal-tagal na itang ano, i- uh, inaay na mag-guest dito. And, I'm excited because yeah, I want to resonate with your um, <laughs> letter sender. Oh, Correct. Yeah. Oh, no. Hi, Rainbow Society. I am, oh, yun na sabi sa iyo, Do- <laughs> Donald ang name niya. Pero ano daw? Alvin, ako? Alvin. Alvin. <laughs> Ayun. <laughs> I'm a member of LGBTQ but not that out. Ayan. So, I love drawing and designing clothes for women ever since I was very young. I've always adored the fashion works of some foreign and international fashion designers. I mainly design clothes for women and only few of my friends, straight and not straight, knows that it is one of the passion. One of my passion, I also do paintings and crafts. I have, uh, I am having doubts and afraid to inform my parents about taking a fashion design course for college. Ako, parang nasa high school pa ata siya. My parents are so strict to the point that they want to go to a Catholic university in college or do college. My dad is a uh, practicing lawyer and my mom is an accountant in one of the malls here in Manila. I have this fear that once I inform my parents of my desire to take up fashion design in college, they might is instantly disown me and look down on me and may, and might not even support me financially to take up the course that is really close to my heart. Wow. It might be even be a big surprise to them since I dress up like a straight guy. Oh, ala, la, ala Ralph Lauren. Oh, di ba? And my dream and passion to be future young designer might just go to trash and will not be able to fulfill my dream. What could be the best way to open my to up to my parents about my plans to take up a course um, I plan to take up in college? I have always been honest to them and sincere with their wishes for me to get established, hoping that this open letter will help me prepare myself in informing my parents about my plans and that there will be no hatred afterwards. Oh, haven't I mentioned it yet, but I'm now in first year college. Ah, first year college, pala siya. Best to your program and let the rainbow flag fly. Be significant factor to the world. Yeah. Your nagmamahal letter sender. Ayan. I hope Alvin is watching right now. Right. And mm-hmm. I hope he was there since the beginning because Edgar was an inspiration to what mm, he's yeah. going through now, isn't it? Yes. So yeah. there are three points that I'd like to highlight. What could be the best way to be open to my parents about my plans of the, of the course I plan to take up in college, which is fashion design course. Number two, hoping that this open letter will help me prepare myself in informing my parents about my plans and and that there will be no hatred afterwards. Mm-hmm. And number three, my dream and passion is to be a young fashion designer. So what came to mind when I was reading um, and listening also to Nathan is there was one uh, quote. So can we have... Uh, oh, yeah, prepare for... Oh. 
have the first slide. Okay, it's it's actually by a uh, um, Athenian historian, 400 BC. Imagine wow. it still applies up to this day. The secret to happiness is freedom, and the secret to freedom is courage. Importante yan, courage, like what Edgar did, right? Walang yes. mm-hmm. lang. Yeah, he just agree. went with this yeah, passion. because uh, I think. In, in the family, may, may backstory, Johnny, because in the family, there's no one who was who is into fashion design or into the arts. They were, I think, uh, a family of lawyers and doctors. Yeah. Uh, accountant, actually. Accountant. Uh, accountant. Uh, lawyer, lawyer yung father, accountant yung mother. So yeah. I, I could I could sense a traditional type of family where yeah. in probably he's taking a pre-law course because I think it was mentioned in the letter that he's in first year college already. Yes. First okay. Year. So, conscious parenting is a new paradigm shift. Okay. Wow. Let's all let's oh, all yeah. Uh, yeah let's all uh, admit this now that it's not anymore dictating. It's not yes. anymore um, uh, not giving an option. It's already like controlling, right? Controlling. Uh-oh. And at the same, and eventually, the kid will not be happy anymore. This right? is the new parent. Coach Isa, this is the new parenting, no? Kasi, yes, this is the new parenting oh, already. Yeah. And, and it's for conscious parenting. Conscious, conscious parenting, parenting, yes. And, and, yeah, the, and before, the spotlight was already the fixing of the child, managing the child, obsessing about, you know, yeah. how the child is, etc., etc. But we have to have this shift already in our minds as parents. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. so I think that's the most important thing. The reason I mentioned this is um, I want Alvin, may, maybe later I'll give him a link or also the book. I okay. want him also to read about it, to learn about it, and eventually bring it into the family, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, education is the best, be, best start. It's a yeah. main yeah. goal, Alvin. Our main goal is to be a young fashion designer, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Our main goal, mm-hmm. maybe presently, what's relevant is I'm hoping and it's my desire that my parents will allow me to take fashion design course, right? So, number three, you have to identify the specific target you want to hit and the concrete steps you can take to move into that direction. So, you're already in the process of targeting, identifying, um, the direction towards the bigger goal, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, right. number four, then I just kept putting one foot in front of the other until I reach my goal. So it's just yeah. one step, second step, step. step fourth step, etc. One step at a yeah, time. So, yeah, one steady. step at a time, mm-hmm. consciously, uh, carefully, with uh, caution, and etc. And then number five, you also have to set markers, evaluate your progress, focus on the steps you've taken, not on those you have not, and give yourself credit for every step you take. So every step you take that's successful, celebrate with your friends, right? Yeah. Pat yourself in the back. And um, what do you call this? Give thanks. Give thanks to, to God. Give thanks to the one who supported you. It's uh, more of the attitude. The yeah, attitude. those are attitude. little victories, right? Yes, and it's a little victory towards attaining the goal. Yes. Exactly. So don't forget that. Celebrate. Number six, it definitely takes perseverance to achieve your goals. Alam mo, minsan hindi mahirap yung perseverance eh. Because gusto mo siyang gawin. That's yes, your passion. Yeah. Diba? Anong mahirap? Anong mahirap Ang mahirap siguro doon is maybe what Edgar mentioned a while ago is because, you know, there's there's really a uh, competition, mm. you know, there's like manufacturing you have to think about and all, but it's part of the process, right? Mm-hmm. It's a mind shift that you have to change in yourself na ang saya-saya. Ang saya-saya ang nangyayari because, you know, I'm getting into my goal. Yeah. And then, Let's not forget about SMART goals. I'm sure many people have learned about SMART smart mm-hmm. goals, but I'll just repeat, which is specific. State exactly what you want to accomplish. It's also measurable. Let's have our next slide. Mm-hmm. And it's also 
uh, use smaller mini goals to to measure progress achievable make your goals reasonable reasonable attainable also and then realistic set a goal that is relevant in your life ano yung ngayon present hindi tayo mag-iisip na five years from now yung mm-hmm. present okay mm-hmm. and then Hello, I- i'm so touched i'm so ano i'm, I'm happy really happy I'm, I'm celebrating inside yung mga pinagsasabi mo and how I wish yung mga viewers natin na mga parents, I wish they could learn a yes. lot from, from what you shared with us tonight and uh, yes. as well as the young the rainbow uh, tribe natin. Oo, sa kaya na mga ka-rainbow ang sabihin nyo sa mga parents <laughs> Ang uso ngayon ay <laughs> on the shore Conscious parenting. Parenting, yes. Yeah. So, kaka-rosebid na naman tayo with John, ha? So, tawagin na natin ang ating grammar grandma. Alika na, grammar grandma. Pasok, Pasok na. na. Ah! Ay! 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 Eh, no, isa ye hello. Na anyo ko ano minsan ang ating nagiging problema kag word na cope ang ginagamit natin. Sa so, totoo lang, ang nakikita ko nagkakamali tayo minsan sa paggamit ng preposition in that common expression that uses cope. Okay? Oh. So, what I'd like to do right now though is what ano, gusto kong ipakita, hindi lang yan, but some other common expressions na hindi natin alam kung may preposition ba o wala. So, umpisa oh. natin, okay? Nakamusikin. Eh, Lo, na gusto kong pag-usapan. Mm-hmm. Ito siya. Nakita niyo tong unang sentence? Ayan. Ayan. Isang, ano yan, sa isang show, di ba? Welcome mm-hmm. sa bahay ni Kuya. Bahay ni Kuya. I, I hope you can cope up with the challenges inside. Ayan. Okay, yan yung una. Yung pangalawa naman, nakuha ko sa isang Facebook page. Yes, uh-huh. uh, aims to encourage and inspire our right. young people that despite of this pandemic, we can do more. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Ano yung pangatlo? So, nakuha ko naman from a newspaper uh, headline. Okay. Yeah, it's necessary provisions prior resuming operations. Alam nyo ba? Ito yung gusto kong i- ipakita sa inyo. Alam nyo ba? Yang bawat sentence na yan, meron tayong dapat i-discuss kasi mali ang akala ng taong mga sumulat nito. At ano siya? Ay, oo! Oh, eto yung una. Alam nyo ba, oh, yung uh, pap- meron, kailangan i-discuss natin yan. Together with, despite of, at itong prior. Prior. So, I'm sure, marami kayong kakilala or baka pati kayo mismo nagagamit niyo yung cope up with na yan. And the sad thing is, hindi dapat. Why? Ito kasi, para maintindihan natin how to really use the word cope, let's find out its meaning. Ito ang meaning niya. Okay? So, uh, turungan niyo ako ng konti dito. Anong nakalagay na meaning paano, niya? Paano, paano, paano. Oh. To deal with problems and difficult situations, situations and try to come and try up, with, to try to up, come with, up solutions. with solutions. Wala kung ano ang nakakapagpalito sa atin dyan. Ayan, mm-hmm. yung come up na yan. Come up. come up with solutions, okay? Kaya natin, ito may come up with. with. Tama? Okay. Yeah. So, uh-huh. so, ito ngayon, Ayan, yan ang nagagaya natin na cope up with. Kasi tingnan nyo, ano lang ang diferensya ng dalawang expressions na yun? Di ba? Isang letra lang. Isang letra lang. MNP. Yes, MNP lang. So akala natin ngayon, kasi halos magka-spelling siya, tama yung cope up with. But remember, the word cope already means to come up with. So, ano ah, dapat no. na? So, cope ano up ano the challenge. Alisin na natin yung up cope sa cope. Cope with. So, cope with na lang. So, di ba? Kung madalas nyong gamitin yan, ano na dapat ang alisin? Alisin na yung up. 
So anytime you're going to use it, journalicious, you're going to use it this time, and even JB, ano dapat na lang? Go with You can... Nagagamit yes, ba yan sa lahat? Nagagamit ba yan sa lahat? Yung cope with, cope up. Alisin yeah. ang up, cope Alisin with. Alisin na yung up. Never use it with up. Because remember, cope already means to come up. Diba? Ah, so, okay. hindi na dapat kasama. Clear ba yan? Yeah. Baka naman tanggalin na yung ano, I was wake, wake up with. Pero diba claro ba to with everyone? Please yes. remember. Yes, yes. Okay. Kami, ako, parang awa na alisin na yung up. So marami na ako correct pag do- naglagay niyan. Cop up. Ako so, na ako talaga sa pandemic at ang mga ano no, mga inspiration natin sa mga guests at ang letter sender cope with, diba? Yes, cope with the challenges, cope with whatever life sends. Once Ayan. again, maraming salamat mga ka-rainbow na sinamahan niyo kami sa dalawang oras na inspiring and informative na chikahan. Lahat tayo ay naghahanap ng purpose meaning and fulfillment sa ating buhay. Lahat ng ito ay magkakaroon ng katotohanan when we are willing to explore our potentials. May kanya-kanya tayong mga pangarap na nagbibigay sa atin ng saya at kahulugan sa buhay. Ang ating pangarap na bituin ay maaabot lamang if we have the courage to follow our passion and live our dreams. Sabi nga, the Oprah Winfrey, Sabi nga niya, the biggest adventure you can take is to live the life of your dreams. Maraming salamat mga ka-rainbow. Kita-kits ulit tayo sa susunod na Sabado. Dito lang sa the first LGBTQIA digital radio show sa social media, ang Rainbow Society on V81 Radio Worldwide. Babu? Tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know.